Hey everyone, this is Jack from Victory Camera, and today I'm back at home to show you how to develop black and white film with a monobath solution, specifically Cinestill's DF96. This solution will simultaneously develop and fix your film with no stop bath needed in between, so you can see the appeal compared to the standard three bath process which I covered in last week's video. It works by employing a really fast acting developer, which should finish its job by the time the fixer starts stripping silver nitrate off the film. It's a lot more convenient than the three bath process, but some people think this difference in mechanism means you're always going to have lower contrast or haze. I think you can get really great negatives out of it, and unless you're a film archivist or an ultra nerd, I think you're going to be happy with the results. This is everything we'll need to develop, so let's get started. I've got a roll of 120 film loaded in my tank and 500 milliliters of monobat solution in a cylinder here. This stuff works best in the 70 to 80 degree range, so I'm going to warm up my chemistry in a water bath for a few minutes. Now that we're at 75 degrees, I'll start by rinsing my film with a plain water bath, around the same temperature. Next I'll pour in the mono bath, agitate for 30 seconds, then agitate intermittently for just 4 minutes. That means about 3 inversions every 30 seconds. Once the time's up, I'll do a final rinse with the Ilford method I prefer, and voila, that's it. Rinse everything well and pop the tank open. Hang your negatives up to dry and soon they'll be ready for scanning. There you have it, that's developing with a monobath solution. As you can tell, it's super simple and requires a little less gear, so it's a good option if you've never developed film before and are intimidated by the three bath process. Come see us at Victory Camera here in Boulder where we've got this DF96 and other film chemistry in stock, so you can give this a try yourself. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.